how can I let you love me if it's going to make you feel like an awful person? No, it, it, you it, need it, to listen to me. No, you listen. I listened. Now it's your turn to listen. When I told you I loved you, I, I blurted it. I did. I know. But I guess that's what happens sometimes with the truth. It just comes out. But I'm not that naive. I knew what it meant when I said that I loved you. And maybe I stuffed it down so long that it just didn't even really exist for me. I even came close to marrying a man. Maybe because I didn't want to face it. I didn't want to say it. But when I did say it out loud to you, I knew exactly what I was saying. I know what it means to tell someone that you loved him. You're not ready. And you are? I don't know. I don't know, maybe not, but I don't, I don't have the baggage that you have. Baggage? Are you, you mean Frank? No, I'm not talking about Frank. I'm talking about Rafe. I'm talking about Emma. I'm talking about your religion. My religion? It's about love. Really? This kind of love? <laughs> You're not ready. I was hoping to find you here. Everybody feels low. Everybody feels high. Everybody's feet are on the ground and heads in the sky. Only love can save the world. 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 Did you know that I was here? I called the beacon. Andrew said I could find you here. It's for Emma. She's in a play. Yeah. And I promised her a long time ago that I'd be here. She's really, really nervous about forgetting her lines. You know what? It is going to start in a few minutes, so... I know that we need to sit down and have a conversation, but if it could just... Natalia, I'm not here to talk about us, okay? You're not? But I will take you up on your offer to talk, but not today. Why are you here? Corrections called. And they've ordered me to take Rafe back to the halfway house. No, he was supposed to be with me for a week. That's what you told me. Why, why the change? There is no change. When a prisoner is required to go to the halfway house as part of their parole, they usually go straight there, but I was able to pull a few strings so Natalia could have some time with him. Frank, pull a few more strings. I can't. The only reason the parole board let Rafe out was because he was going to be attending an important family event. And now that that event's not happening, they've ordered me to take him to the halfway house. When? No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but that's why I wanted to track you down here, so I, I, I knew you would want to say goodbye. Can you please tell Emma I'm so sorry? Don't you dare worry about this. She loves Rafe, okay? If, she, she, if she's nervous, though, just tell her to do that trick that I taught her. I will. I wish there was something I could do. You know, me too. Let's take lots of pictures. You call me if you need me. I'm assuming you heard something. I can't believe it. I can't. I, I have to say goodbye again. Mom, uh, I'm going to a halfway house. I'm not going to prison. Yeah, I know that, but you're not going to be here at home where you belong. You know, I'm going to give you guys some time to be together, all right? How long do we have? He's got to be there by sundown. Well, thank you, Frank, for trying. Yeah, thanks, Frank. I really, I really wish I could do more. 
You call me uh, when you're done? Mm. This is all my fault. I did it again. I let you down again. Oh, what, Ma? I... They moved your transfer to the halfway house because I didn't marry Frank. This whole home visit wasn't even supposed to happen. Frank made it happen. What's going on, Ma? With you and Frank, I mean, I, is, is there going to be a wedding? Frank is such a good guy, and I'm, I know that you were looking forward to having someone, you, you know, having a man in your life. <laughs> Ma, you're making this sound like you were marrying him because I wanted a daddy. No, that's not why. I really like the idea of, of being able to give that to you. All right, well, well, good, Ma, but I was just happy knowing that, or thinking that you were going to be with someone who you love and who loves you, who's going to take care of you, not me. Oh, Rafe. Ma, look, Frank is a, is a good guy. He is. But it doesn't mean that he's the right guy for you. Maybe not. Woman, well, I'm going to tell you one more time. I am happy if you are happy. Life is just a little bit more complicated than that. Ma, I think I know. I'm moving into a halfway house, and now you're a runaway bride. Come on. Oh, God, I really, I really wish that I could explain to you why I did that. Ma, look, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I trust you. You think Frank can pick us up later in town? <laughs> why, do you want fast food? Oh, Ma. I was hoping we can go to church. Church? Like, I know I griped about it a lot when I was back here before, but the truth is, when I was inside, you and your faith was the only thing that really got me through everything. So I was kind of hoping we could go together today. Hi, right, all right, come here. Oh, you want me. No, and you didn't look nervous at all. I just did it until I told. Where is she? You know what, baby? Um, she really wanted to be here, really badly, but she. Today's the day that Rafe had to go to the halfway house, and she wanted to go and say goodbye. We should go. I'm sorry, we'll be probably sad. Well, you know that's really sweet of you, but I think they want some time alone. Besides, we have your cast party to go to. Remember? Can Miss Aya come? I don't think so. Why not? Maybe because it's different now, okay? We don't live at the farmhouse. But Natalia didn't marry Frank. No, but that doesn't mean we're going to move back there. I'm sorry, honey. It's just complicated. It's just grown-up stuff. Come on. 